SajakunaNJ.com here to talk a little Rutgers football recruiting post early signing day. Uh, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, all the Rutgers fans of the land and all the NJ uh, high school football fans taking the time uh, out of their uh, days with their families and friends to, to have a listen uh, about what's going on as far as uh, Rutgers football recruiting. Uh, early signing period, man, it's, it's certainly been an interesting process. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily been utilized uh, the way it was intended, um, you know, to be an opportunity for some guys to, you know, go ahead and sign so coaches could sort of uh, configure the rest of their classes without having to put all those resources into the kids that are already locked up down the stretch. Um, it's kind of become the actual signing day, and those kids that weren't necessarily ready to sign, although committed, um, you know, have to face some, some tough choices and a little bit of pressure uh, just because this is so unprecedented and nobody on either side necessarily knows um, exactly how to navigate it just yet. There's no, there's no blueprint for this, um, which is why you see a lot of different situations where kids are getting dropped or kids are decommitting from school. So uh, I don't know if it's really rectified any issues. It seems as if it's actually opened up a new can of worms and created some new issues. But, you know, for guys like myself, this is certainly an interesting time to sit back and sort of analyze this whole thing. Um, take, for instance, the case like Trayvon King, who was committed to Rutgers, decommitted yesterday. Um, I know a lot of other guys aren't reporting it as a decommitment. Um, you know, there's been uh, talk of him being dropped and uh, things of that nature. Um, but to act as if, you know, one day all of a sudden the staff woke up and, and thought, you know what, this kid can't play, we're going to drop him, I think that's just ludicrous. What happened here is just a result of this, uh, this process. And if you want to call it um, sort of a mutual decision to split, you know, that's fine. I included that in my post uh, yesterday. Um, but to act as if he was just dropped – you know, uh, out of nowhere, it's just, it's, it's just a little bit silly. Um, you know, I actually uh, did a post uh, with Trayvon, I believe it was the day before signing day, where he clearly stated that, you know, he wasn't going to sign early. And that had been the overall uh, uh, feedback I had gotten him for a long while now. Um, you know, and, and, and being that this is such uncharted territory, you know, um, you know, the staff can say, hey, we, there may not be a spot for you at the end of this rainbow if you don't sign now. A kid like Trayvon, you know, said, hey, if, if that's the case, you guys have to do what you got to do. And, and, and I certainly understand. Then I know there was another issue when it came down to his official visit date. He was going to visit in early December. Um, but because he decided to not sign early, uh, his official visit date was pushed back. Um, and then, you know, obviously Rutgers is doing a nice job adding prospects to this class. Uh, some at the position that maybe he was projected to play. Uh, so then there was some discussion as to whether he'd be able to play the position that he wanted to play uh, if he didn't sign early. So at the end of the day, uh, you know, I think just mutually the, uh, the two sides went their separate ways. I mean, they were in contact as recently as yesterday. So there is some discussion there. I mean, Trayvon King, uh, from what I gather, is, is a player, um, you know, that the staff wanted at Rutgers, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, it, j it just didn't work out. And look, nobody's wrong for that. Nobody's the bad guy for that. I mean, this is happening uh, throughout the entire country. Uh, you know, no one is immune to that. I think we're all just kind of learning how to navigate this new process. Um, I think it definitely benefits the coaches uh, more than the kids, simply because, I mean, a lot of these staffs may not even be there by the time these kids arrive uh, on campus. And obviously they get to save on those resources of having to recruit these guys to the end and can now kind of start to focus on their teams. So I think for those guys, you know, most of those guys, unless you're Nick Saban, obviously are pretty happy about the way things are going. But for some of the kids, it's certainly, um, you know, something to think about. And I, ha I absolutely have, you know, no problem with a kid um, you know, taking his time to make the most important decision of his life. This is Todrick Hunt, NG.com, signing off.